So we stock products for a lot of different kinds of retailers and fish farm people. Um, but obviously, the majority of our marketplace is around ornamental fish. And so with ornamental fish, should retailers be concerned with feeding a quality fish food when they're bringing it into store? So yes, th those fish sat in a fish shop waiting to be sold obviously need feeding um, because they're going to look pretty uh, pretty ropey if they're, they're they're being starved and then nobody's going to want to buy unhealthy starving emaciated looking fish so yes they're going to need to be being fed in the retail premises those fish as they've arrived at the retailer have been through quite a stressful experience um, and as they then settle down into the retailer a good quality diet is going to be useful for helping them to sort of deal with that stress um, a good quality diet can then be have have immunostimulants in it which can then prime the immune system and, and and make the immune system more vigilant to um you know to some of the challenges that the fish are going to meet in a in a retail environment if we if the retailer is feeding a really cheap poorly formulated food which is not going to be digested very effectively by the fish so that what what's passing out into the feces of the fish is just a lot of partially and, and you know undigested ingredients all of that solid waste is then going to work its way through to the central filter system and then it's going to get trapped in the sand filter or the filter socks or the drum filter or whatever whatever mechanical stage of the filter system is being used at the premises that mechanical stage is just going to have to work so much harder and then that's going to need maintaining. So if we're if we're running our shop with sand filters, those sand filters are just going to be sort of clogging up a lot more. We're going to need a lot more back flushing. So we're going to be back flushing those sand filters more regularly and for longer to get that feces out. And in a in a, a large shop where we're you know what what a lot of customers would consider a highly overstocked tanks. If you look at you know a really well stocked shop, there is not one centimeter of fish length per liter of water in there. We've got a hell of a lot of fish crammed into one box. There's an awful lot of biomass. So that's an awful lot of food producing an awful lot of waste. So we want to do what we can to minimize that waste. So that comes back to feeding a food source that is easily digested and efficiently digested, giving us a minimal waste. It comes back to the protein sparing effect as well. If we can do anything, just dropping that ammonia level by two percentage, sorry, the protein concentration in the food by two percentage points in favor of fat is going to be a, you know, a significant reduction in the ammonia level that's putting a burden on the system. Um, so it just makes the maintenance a bit easier. If we're then thinking how often we have to go along you know, um, siphoning the bottom of the tanks to take faeces out. If the fish are producing less faeces, we don't have to do that as much. If we've got collections of sort of rotting fish faeces in a, in a system, this solid waste can be become a breeding ground for fungi and for certain opportunistic pathogens. Some of the, the ciliated protozoa that can cause infections of the fish's skin layer, some of the um, flukes some of the gill flukes can, you know, that they, they can thrive in muckier systems. Fungi um, will thrive in a mucky system and some bacteria, um, things like Eremonas and Pseudomonas will thrive in a muckier system. So what this accumulation of solid waste just makes things, makes, makes the habitat for pathogens more acceptable. And the last thing we want in, in a retail environment is, you know, established fungi established bacterial infections because we're then going to be dealing with more mortalities on the premises and we're then going to be having our customers taking those pathogens home to their fish tanks and then saying I brought this fish from you five days ago and now it's dead and it's wiped out a load of other fish we want to be keeping our systems as clean as possible so by feeding that good quality diet that is nutritionally complete and has got immune enhancers um, and prebiotics to do as much as you can to get those fish healthy, but to make sure that diet is digested as efficiently as possible. So there's the minimal impact on water quality. I'd say at the, the retail environment, that is, that is more important than anywhere else in that, that sort of chain for the life of the fish. Because if you get it wrong, then the fish are going to go downhill in terms of their, 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 their outward appearance and their behavior, and they're just less sellable. They're going to be more problematic to you as a retailer, as a product.